Alright guys, so I've already done the video on how to take your before photos and using those same practices then for taking progress photographs. Alright, so we're looking at progress and how to monitor and how to track it. Alright, so we have to look at assessments. So we're going to use the photos as one way of assessing and tracking progress. Another way then is scale weight, gear for measurements using a tape measure and using different sites in the body and then body fat analysis, body fat percentage. With body fat, I'm going to start with that first because that's the hardest one to um, accurately gauge as such. If you have access to someone who can do a proper caliper based uh, skin fold assessment using seven or nine sites, excellent, take advantage of it. It's going to be a lot more accurate than the other methods many people use. So I would say if you have access to someone that can do that, do it every 10 to 14 days. Um, and the rest of the time then we're looking at every kind of maybe seven to ten days tracking weight, tracking um, gear to measurements and so forth. If you don't have access to someone who can do a proper body fat assessments, don't worry about it guys. You're going to have photographs to look at and see progress. You're going to have scale weight that you can monitor carefully. And then you're going to have gear to measurements, alright. You're also going to be able to just look in the mirror and see the, difference, the differences um, as you progress. <coughs> what you can also do is you know the old pinch an inch, stick the thumb into the belly button, grab around the, the, the abdominal fat. As you get leaner, you should be able to grab less. All right, so your eyes aren't going to deceive you too much. Um, don't be using one of those plastic body fat calipers. Not 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 effective whatsoever. Um, body fat monitor scales. They're not accurate whatsoever. What a lot of trainers will say is that they're consistently inaccurate and what they mean by that is if it tells you today that you're about 12% and in three weeks time it tells you you're 10% well more, more likely you have lost in around 2% body fat and um, there's some variables there that they have to be careful with so what I would say is if you have one of those body fat monitor scales you know feel free to use it just you know understand that it's not going to tell you exactly what your body fat is but if you're using that and you're seeing that your body fat is going down over time well then you know your body fat is going down if you don't have a body fat monitor of scales, do not run out and buy one, okay? Just use, use everything else, use the photos, use the scale, use the tape measure. Alright, so <coughs> with all of our assessments and with the photographs, guys, you always want to take them pretty much on the same day of each week. First thing in the morning, no food, no water, anything in your system, alright? So, scale, ideally use it in a digital scale. I have one of those needle dial scales. So I'm just going to make sure it's set on zero. Regardless of what scale you're using, make sure it's placed on a hard surface. Don't place it on carpet, it'll give an inaccurate reading. So, set on. Alright, it's telling me I'm about 179.5 pounds. Just under the 180 mark. Alright, so we have our weight. Again, with weight guys, just be careful because especially if you're a female, um, none of us want to become obsessed with the scale. And again, if you're burning body fat and you're building a little bit of muscle, you're making body composition alterations, which is exactly what we want. So even if the scale stays the same, you can make phenomenal progress by dropping body fat and building some lean tissue, muscle tissue. <coughs> Alright, so scale weight is out of the way. Body fat is out of the way. We know about our photographs. Next thing we'll look at is body measurements. You can do all sides from ankle, calf, thigh, hips, waist, chest, shoulders, arms, wrists, alright, all we're going to focus on guys primarily hips, waist, chest, hips, alright, feet together, if you stand with your feet apart, you're opening out your hips and you're going to make that me measurement probably a quarter of an inch or more bigger than it should be, so if one day you measure here, next time you measure with your feet out, it's going to vary alright, you want consistency with doing these assessments, feet together, Take the tape measure, your fabric tape measure, run it around the widest point of your backside, right across. Make sure it's sitting at a straight line, okay? We don't want it running down and up. Straight line all the way around. Widest point over the backside. Alright. With all these measurements, what I suggest using the fabric tape measure is run it about three, three inches past. So I'm going to take the tape measure at three inches, run it past three inches to three three inch mark and mine is coming in at 42 and a half let's say 
So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to subtract that 3 inches. So that gives me 39 and a half, okay? The reason for doing that is it's easier to manage the tape, to use the tape, it all just takes up some of the slack. So run it about 3 inches past, doing the, the measurements, and then subtract 3 inches. Next one then, waist at navel level. Alright, so I'm going to run it around a straight line, across, navel, 3 inches past, take the measurement, and then deduct the 3 inches, okay? Last one then, chest. What we'll do is take the tape measure, run it high up your back, right under the, the fold of the armpit, come around and then bring it down and just across nipple level or just above the nipples. Again, run three inches past the measure, so I'm coming in at 47 inches, deduct three inches, 44 inch chest. Alright guys, so there you have it. Separate video on how to take it before and progress photos. And in this video we're actually discussing body fat, gear measurements or body measurements from different body sites and body fat. Uh, sorry, scale weight. Scale weight is the last thing. Alright, so again, use these things and use them in conjunction with the, the photographs. Don't use any of one of these, especially scale weight in isolation. And by isolation I mean don't use scale weight as your only means of assessing progress. Alright guys?